What's going on everyone, Tech Me Out here, and in this video we are going to be talking about my top tech recommendations under $300. Now, not only are these items under $300, but they're also a few of my favorite tech items for the month of March. So, with that said, let's move on to the very first item, the Samsung Gear Fit 2 Pro. So this is pretty much like the perfect companion for your Android phone. And you're really not even limited to just using it on Android, honestly, because it also works with iOS, but it's gonna work best with Android. Now, not only is it a smartwatch, but it's also a fitness tracker as well. It's water resistant up to 50 meters and it can monitor various forms of exercise such as running, walking, and even swimming. You'll also find that it has the option for built-in music storage. So I can actually download and listen to my favorite Spotify playlist. Health measurements can instantly be tracked with things like the Under Armour app, Map My Run, or you can quickly stay on top of your nutrition with My Fitness Pile by adding things like your water intake. It it also has a GPS built inside, so you don't have to take your phone around for that. So gesture-wise, if you swipe down, you can access a few shortcuts. A right swipe will get your notifications. A left swipe will access different widgets, such as your heart rate, which is also gonna give you continuous monitoring. You can check out your calendar, how many floors you've climbed, exercise options, or endless face options that can better match your mood or needs. I just really love how easily accessible everything is to see and also interact with on this big AMOLED screen. I found it super easy to read my notifications, such as my texts, calls, and even my emails. Battery life is great, so you don't have to worry about charging it every night, but instead every few days. It's a pretty awesome and well thought out smartwatch option, especially if you're gonna be bouncing between iOS and Android, as it works good on both, but of course, better on Android. And for the curious minds out there regarding the case on my Note 8, this is the Samsung Alcantara case, and it is as nice as it looks. Slim, comfortable, and classy, and of course, linked below. Now moving on to item number two, we have actually two speakers. And these speakers are fairly similar in features, but different in sound quality, build, and battery life. Both options can get pretty loud, but the Mega Blast definitely gets louder. Each of these also pack Amazon Alexa, which is something we are seeing more of, which is Alexa and high quality speakers, which I feel is a pretty decent combo. Now with these options, you're gonna get 360 degree sound and a body that is also waterproof and drop proof. So these will be better suited to withstand a little bit of ruggedness if you're going to be taking them with you as you travel. I really enjoy how well the music is evenly dispersed on these, so you don't get too much on the low end or high end of things. Now, although I enjoyed listening to multiple genres on both of these speakers, I will say between the two, the Mega Blast definitely plays music the best at louder volumes. It also offers the best battery life and sound quality between the two. Now that doesn't mean at all that the blast sounded bad or was quiet at all, as it still sounded good, it's just the Mega Blast sounded better. But you can't go wrong with either. Now I do wish that you could pair these so you can create more of a stereo sound effect, kind of like you can do with the Mega Boom, but I'll survive and take Alexa instead to answer my questions or control my various smart home items. Now my next recommendation is an item I picked up a few months ago, and it's one of those things that can easily go overlooked, and it's possibly underrated as well, and that is a vacuum cleaner. So this is the Dyson V7, and I gotta say, I love the fact that it's cordless and it's super lightweight. Light to the point it concerned me a bit that something might be missing or might not be as powerful as advertised, but that was not the case at all. The suction on this thing alone is powerful and has no trouble picking up anything in which I needed to. And this was something like this where the little things have the biggest impact, such as the trigger option here, which is basically gonna function as your on and off switch as you press it to get things going and release it to make it stop, which I found is really handy to actually have it like this so I can turn things off in an instant versus having to maneuver it to find the power button. And I also noticed that the loud motor noise that you typically hear isn't 
isn't at the bottom of the vacuum, but instead at the top, which is really nice, especially if you're staying in somewhere like an apartment and you wanna do, you know, your like midnight vacuuming, maybe that's just me, but nonetheless, <laughs> when you have those scenarios, you don't have to worry as much about disturbing any neighbors that might live below you. Along the top of the vacuum is where you're gonna find your two suction options and also an easy accessible dump bin. Real scenario, I got my car washed last week and they didn't vacuum it. So I headed back home, grabbed my vacuum, changed the attachment, took it to my car, which was super easy because it's super light. And I got the job done, like easy. And I didn't have to pay anybody to do it. I pay, you know, to use a vacuum somewhere else because I just used one in my house. That's one of those moments that like silently reaffirms your purchasing decision. Now being it is cordless, it does run off of a battery that's gonna last around 30 minutes, which is sufficient for me as it doesn't take me 30 minutes to vacuum my home. A docking station is also included, which is nice for storage and also to ensure that it's always charged up and ready to go. Now this next item right here is basically my alternative to AirPods. I I love these things. They're known as the Zolo wireless earphones and they operate much like a pair of AirPods with their charging case, truly wireless build, and touch controls along the side. However, these are a little bit different as they pack a very unique feature known as transparency, which is gonna allow you to hear your surroundings by simply performing a three second press to activate the mics built within it. Now I've heard of this feature on you know the Sony headphones, but I've never heard of this feature on an in-ear wireless pair of headphones. The Zolos naturally seal off sound really well and they fit pretty snug so without this feature I wasn't able to hear much of my surroundings at all but with this feature activated I could hear everything so it's really nice that you can turn this feature on and off at a whim which is perfect for me in scenarios such as when I'm working out as they are sweat proof as well. Music sounds great with these you have your deep lows punchy bass lines with very clear and distinct mids and highs plus you can further customize this with the companion app to better tune it to your equalization of choice. Now with the sound tight seal of the earbuds, you can definitely bet that you're gonna be buried in with your music. And you can do this for quite some time with this three and a half hours of playtime from a single charge, but that number then gets bumped up to 24 hours with the included charging case. You also have the option to control things with push gestures, such as going to the previous track with a one second press on the left earbud, or the next track with the same action on the right one. And you can even summon your smart assistant of choice with a double press on either earbud as it's super friendly with iOS and Android. I think these are the perfect pair if you want a solid wireless pair of earphones that's gonna work sufficiently with iOS or Android. And lastly, I have a travel charger that you're definitely gonna wanna throw in your bag as you're out on the go. So this is the Satachi Type-C 75 watt travel charger. It's strong enough to charge your phones, tablets, such as your iPads, your Nintendo Switch, and even your MacBook. Now the USB-C port does output up to 60 watts of power, so it's not quite enough to really charge my 15 inch MacBook Pro as that requires 87 watts. Now beneath the USB-C port, you have three USB ports, one which packs Qualcomm Quick Charge 3.0 so you can get that fast charge on compatible devices. And it's the versatility of this, and which I do like, which is gonna make it a worthy contender to pick up if you're in need of a way to charge on multiple devices that require various levels of power and connection options. But hopefully you enjoy this list of a few items under the $300 price tag that I'm using, enjoying, and recommend. If you did, be sure to hit that like button down below, as well as drop a comment stating which item you like the best out of all of these. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.